This is Gary Schnicki, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with our projections of corn harvest price for 2020. We did a corn harvest price projection based on different U.S. corn yields. Currently, USDA is projecting a yield of 178.5 bushels per acre, at that yield, we would expect the harvest price, and the harvest price would be used to set crop insurance payments at the end of the year, October settlement price of the December Chicago Mercantile Exchange contract. We would project that at $3.10 per bushel. We would give a range of that will capture that price 90% of the time from $2.91 to $3.29. As you can see there by that range, that's a very, actually a very tight range, but all those prices are very low. Um, we're looking at lower harvest prices given expected yield corn yields. If we have higher corn yields, U.S. corn yields, we would expect lower harvest prices, and a 182 bushel yield would give us a 298 expected harvest price, again below $3. Generally speaking, cash prices would be below those harvest prices in the fall, so we're looking at some very low prices, particularly if we have above trend yields. So if we get 182, 185 as a yield, we could be looking at harvest prices below uh, $3 per bushel. On the other hand, if we have lower than uh, 178.5 yields, we would expect harvest prices. And let's say we have a 137 bushel yield. If that happens, our harvest price, we would expect it to be 454. That 137 yield is it's like simulating a 2012 drought year this year. So that gives you a feel for if we had a drought year this year, we would, might get up to 454. At this point, you would say drought year is probably not very probable. We made these projections using data, historical data, and what we did was we looked first at actual yields versus trend yields. Our trend yields came by fitting a linear regression from the 25 previous years. Last year, our actual corn yield was below our trend yield, and that differed from all the yields since 2012, which were above our uh, trend yields. We then looked at those differences between trend yields and what happened between May uh, futures prices and our harvest price, and here's a relationship you can, you can see. As we increase the actual U.S. yield relative to trend yield, if we get 10 bushels above our trend yield, we will tend to have lower harvest prices or percent harvest price would, ch would be negative compared to May. And if we get up up there at very low yields, like those in 1988 or 2012, we could see a positive change. In any case, right now we are looking at roughly a 305 price for our projections for 2020. And you can read more about this on our Farm Doc Daily article, and those will be listed in the description to this video.